went onto Razorback Lookout, it's right on the top of the Razorback Range. You've got a parking area, a picnic area and a path up to a cylindrical top of monument. There's a plate on top which shows the direction and distance to different places. There's Rock, some cities and the King George Inn in Picton. This used to be a place to stop if you're on your way to Canberra. This is before the freeway obviously. On a clear day you can see Sydney and Wollongong. Across the car park is the Anthony Horden tree. There was a 109 year old Port Jackson fig here which was a landmark. In 2014 a storm split it in two and then the next day it was blown over. So a new tree was planted. Anthony Horden's tree, Razorback, New South Wales. While I live I'll grow. So Anthony Horden and son, they had the largest department store in Sydney. 52 acres of retail space. It was also once the largest department store in the world. Anthony Horden came from England in 1823 and he set up a drapery shop and he was the founding member of the Horden family in Australia. And then they opened a large menswear store in George Street. They also operated one of the largest mail order businesses in Australia. Lookout's 312 metres above sea level, so it's an obvious spot to put a new digital TV antenna. This new one was installed in 2012-13. Picton, that's 80 k southwest of Sydney. It was explored in 1798, but it developed when a new line of the Great South Road was cut across Razorback Range. And then the railway arrived in 1863, so. Picton was originally Stone Quarry in 1841. 1845, they renamed it Picton. In 1980, Picton was bypassed. This is Victoria Bridge, Timber Trestle Bridge, built in 1897. This is Picton Railway Viaduct, uh, built in 1863. It's King George IV Inn, built in 1839, one of the oldest hotels in Australia. The barn behind the hotel might be from 1810. It's also got a microbrewery there. <laughs> 